Yeah, I remember when I was a grom. That was funny. When I was a grom, I used to surf uh, just terrible waves, just flat, mushy waves, closing out, onshore winds, cold out. <laughs> you know, and I'd stay out all day because I wanted to be able to surf as good as anyone else. And I think that's what it takes because, uh, you know, I think that's what's helped me out so far in my life. I never thought, you know, when I was a real young kid, I remember a friend of mine talking about being world champion, and I thought that was, like, stupid to talk about that, you know, that, that didn't seem like a reality. I would literally, like, paddle for waves and say, if I catch this wave that, you know, doesn't look like I can catch, I'm going to win five world titles, or I'm going to win whatever, I'm going to win the contest this year, or, you know, I would, I would sort of put these little motivations in my head, and, and so those games I would, you know, obviously ultimately end up paying off. Like the other year, I lost the title to Andy in a really close one at the end of the year in 2003. And, it, you know, I, I think publicly a lot of people were able to see, you know, there was a, they were filming a movie about Andy at the time, and it covered me pretty extensively. And, um, you know, it was a sort of devastating thing to deal with that day. But looking back now, I'm really glad it happened, you know. I'm really glad that I, that, that I didn't win at that time. And, um, you know, it made me a better person. It made me a better you know, competitor and all that professional stuff, but aside from that, I think it made me a better person to, for that not to go my way that day. When you get to that place where it's easy, you know, that's, that's where it's like, it all seems like it makes sense, and that's, that's the really uh, nice place to get to. I, I feel like I put so much of my uh, heart and soul into, um, into the, the moments where I'm here that I end up burning myself out in some way, and, you know, I, I want the distance from it. You know, when I when I quit the tour and I, I was off tour for three years, I I rarely would look at the contest results and stuff. And it's strange right now, being in the middle of it, to um, to think back and go, gosh, I I wouldn't even know for a couple months who won the last contest or who was doing what. And uh, it didn't really matter to me. You know, it was it was like a, a different universe to me in some way. You know, I think the, the real sort of zen of surfing for me is that's just a, a in the moment thing completely. As the wave presents itself, you do what's sort of possible or asked of you to do. You know, you just, it's like you find that line, you find the timing, and it just, it's just strange how like when you do an off lip at the right section, it sets you up for the next section perfectly. You know, there's, there's some kind of connection between people and the environment that it, it seems so natural and when it's done the right way when you see somebody link things together on a wave just the right way it's like that thing already existed you know it's like that's exactly what was supposed to happen you know my ultimate goal is to be just clued into that at all times you know that'd be my ultimate in life is to be feel like I'm really in tune 